At the start of Football Manager 2024, you'll find Julian Duranville at Borussia Dortmund. He's 17 years old, valued at 5.2 to 15.5 million pounds, and has a contract that runs through to 2026. Looking at his pitch graph, he likes to play on the left-hand side or the right-hand side as a winger, can also play as an attacking midfielder or a makeshift striker. In terms of his attributes, the physicals are based around his acceleration and his pace. He also scores 14 for agility in those physicals. Physicals. In the mentals, it's about his determination, flair and off the ball. And then in the technical set, he has dribbling, first touch and technique that all stand out. At the start of the game, he does come with some player traits, which include tries tricks, likes to beat opponent repeatedly and runs with the ball often. At just five foot seven, he's not going to be running into the box, scoring headers from free kicks and corners. But what he will do is bamboozle defenders with his pace and acceleration. So, this is him at the start of the game. The question is, how will he develop in five years' time? Let's jump forward to 2028 and see what happens to Julian Durhamville. It's now 2028, I have jumped five years forward and we still find Julian Durhamville at Borussia Dortmund. He's now 22 years old, has represented Belgium four times and has scored three goals. He is valued at 28 to 85 million pounds. And when we look at his attributes, the development as a footballer is fantastic. In the physicals, acceleration, agility, pace will stand out. In the mentals, flair, determination, off the ball, and vision will stand out. And then in the technicals, dribbling a 16, first touch of 13, technique of 14, and finishing of 11. He now has the player traits, likes tricks, likes to beat opponent repeatedly, and runs with the ball often. In terms of his history, to see how he has got to where he is, so it's been a bit up and down, being in between Dortmund and the second team, but he finally got his breakthrough into the Dortmund first team in the 26-27 season, where he played 23 times, scoring twice, got an average rate in a 6.75 and then in the 27-28 season he played 16 times providing one assist so as the first team football seems to be ramping up his development is ramping up as a footballer but what will happen in the next five years of Julian Duranville's career let's go to 2033 to find out It's now 2033 and we find Julian Duranville is still at Dortmund. Now at the age of 27, he has represented Belgium 50 times, scoring 14 goals. He's valued at 119 to 358 million pounds and the player development that we needed to see has fully come through. His physicals, acceleration, agility and pace are all off the charts. In the mentals, it's about his flair, off the ball and vision. In the technicals, crossing dribbling, first touch and technique. Looking at his playing history to see how he has got to this point. So after we left him at Dortmund last time out, his game time has now improved significantly. Playing 26 games, then 32 games, 31, 28 and 33, with his best return in terms of goals and assists being in the 32-33 season, 11 goals and assists in the 30-31 season and 29-30 season, 7 assists in both of those seasons. So now he has started to become fully developed there may be a bit more to come out of him but what's he going to look like in five years time It's now 2038 and we're going to take one last look at Julian Duranville. He's still at Borussia Dortmund, 32 years old now. He has represented Belgium 100 times, scoring 31 goals. Looking at his playing ability, he has retained all of the ability across the past five years. There is a little bit of regression in certain areas, but he still looks like a fantastic player, even at the age of 32. His media description is now an experienced winger. We look at his playing stats to see how his first team football had got on he pretty much became one of the first names on the team sheet in the Dortmund lineup though he didn't have anything spectacular in terms of goals and assists he was reliable when called upon for the team and scored an average rating of over seven nearly every year of his career looking at his career stats 467 games played 97 goals scored 71 assists if we look at some of his milestones we see that he won the DFB Pokal twice with Dortmund and the the Super Cup. If we look at his individual awards, 
He's been named in various teams of the week. He was the 2036-37 Supporters Player of the Year. He was German Players Player of the Year runner-up, Supporters Player of the Year for 35-36, German Footballer of the Year, third place, 35-36. He was named in more of Dortmund's various teams of the week 34-35 player of the year so he has managed to get himself some individual accolades he won a few trophies whilst he was at Dortmund and he has had a fantastic playing career he develops so well as a wonder kid he is fantastic with his pace and acceleration absolutely tormenting defenders Right then, if you're still with me at this point of the video, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you don't mind hitting the like and subscribe button, I really would appreciate it. Cannot thank you all enough for the support across the past couple of months. It's been absolutely fantastic. Before you go, don't forget to check out the rest of the channel. There are other videos such as hints, tips, tutorials, Wonder Kids, Let's Plays, a little bit of something for everybody on the channel. But for this one, I'm going to leave it there. Big thank you for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon.